It starts with this, this notion that history is at best a guess. There really are no historical facts. We only have evidence. The ways that we look at history, sometimes scientifically or forensically, or of course there's this historical documents, it's all so subjective and so filtered through so many sources that you just can never be sure that even if you're reading a so-called like accurate historical document that you're really getting the full picture. <laughs> what we're really interested in is sort of our, our perceptions of history more mm -hmm. than we are in um, trying to uncover or, or recreate some sort of factual mm -hmm. history. We have a long background as sculptors and especially working site specifically with installation. So I think like coming into this room, that was really our first step into just sort of feeling out what the room was like, what it felt like to be in here and what kind of room it was, I think really inspired what we ended up doing. One reason why we ended up making the, this kind of secret <laughs> laboratory or something is because it is a really private space. Some alchemy or witchcraft or something might be happening in this room. I definitely don't think of it as um, anything like n negative in any way. It feels more playful. Shane and I are working on a film right now, um, which involves two characters that uh, Shane and I play. And this room is uh, set for that film. The two characters are having these sort of parallel lives um, and they don't necessarily ever meet each other. Um, but this room is the one place where those two lives intersect. We already filmed one scene in this room where my character was whitewashing the walls. And that was before all of this stuff was in here, but there was some of the furniture and, and whatnot. Now we're shooting a series of scenes with uh, Shana's character in this room. My character is working at the big house, the, the Chipstone. The collection is sort of her day job, so to speak, where she is a caretaker for this furniture. But this is a room that she can go to to kind of escape from all of that. This is a room I think that's maybe about another side of her character, which is being really interested in the natural landscape and going into it and collecting all these things. She doesn't really have any specific scientific background per se, but I think she just discovers a lot of things through exploration and random experimentation. In many ways, this room is a character study. Through the process of working, um, we, we start to discover mm -hmm. different aspects of who these characters are and what their right. story is and what their life is all about. It's an emergent narrative, so we just let the site that we're in, or you know, maybe the costumes, or you know, what we've been thinking about as people who are portraying these characters influence what we're filming next, or the next project or performance. A museum or a gallery is always set up as a space which is designed to display work, and in doing so, it's it's generally thought of as a sort of neutral space. Working in a house. It, it already has this sort of context built into it, and it has this history built into it already. What we're doing with this room as an installation is we're allowing the viewer to actually um, pick up objects and interact with objects and sit in the chairs and um, sort of examine these things. So and I think that that's... And smells. And smell, <laughs> right. So there's this very sort of real experience of um, entering this room, and I think that um, hopefully that will allow for a much more sort of genuine and engaged experience mm -hmm. on the viewer's part.